every parent's worst nightmare. The FBI showed them a picture of their daughter using the bathroom, showing her exposed and said, is this your daughter? The intro to this video was already wild and it is going to get even wilder. Before we get started, I just want to point this out to you guys. If there's anything you need to know is when it comes to pedos, their personality comes across as nice. If you are a person that watches true crime or anything of that nature, you will realize that these people are people that are talked about in a very positive way. And that's the scary part about it. It can be extremely hard to pinpoint them. Some of them are very obvious, but then there are some who are wolves covered in sheep clothing. It could be a family member. It could be your cousin. It could be your brother. It could be your sister, your aunt. It could literally be anybody. Don't side eye your family members right now, but just be warned. It could literally be anybody that you trust with your child. <laughs> This is pedo flight attendant Esther Carter Thompson III. In September of 2023, while working as a flight attendant on board an American Airlines flight from Charlotte, North Carolina, all the way to Boston, Massachusetts, he video recorded a 14 year old girl as she used the aircraft lavatory. Midway through the flight, the minor got up to use the main cabin lavatory which was nearest to where she was sitting. And when she arrived, the lavatory was occupied. And after she had only been waiting there for a very short time, Estes allegedly approached her and mentioned that the first class lavatory was unoccupied and escorted her towards first class. Now, before the girl could use the lavatory, Estes came up with the excuse of him needing to wash his hands and allegedly saying that the toilet was broken, which if you were an adult, that would raise some red flags because why would you bring me all the way to this side of the plane if the loo is broken. Anyways, Esther's would exit and the minor would enter and observe the red stickers on the underside of the toilet seat. And as you guys see beneath the red stickers, the alleged pedo had concealed his iPhone to record a video. The 14 year old girl used her phone in order to take the picture of the red stickers and the concealed phone she found in the lavatory before she exited, at which the pedo immediately ran into the restroom to grab his iPhone. Allegedly, when the girl got back to her seat, she informed her parents of what she saw and showed them the picture. And like any good parents, they immediately reported the matter to other flight attendants on board who notified the captain, who in turn notified law enforcement on the ground. Now it is alleged that the victim's father confronted the pedo who shortly after went into the laboratory and locked himself in there with his phone for about three to five minutes prior to the flight's descent. And when they arrived at Boston, airport law enforcement quickly figured out that this pedo had restored his phone to factory settings. So law enforcement searched his suitcase and in the suitcase were 11 more of these red stickers. And with that information, you can probably assume that he had been doing this for a while. And not only that, but he's probably planning to continue doing it because he hadn't been found at the time. So at that time, they searched his iCloud and allegedly it revealed four additional instances between January and August of 2023, which Pedo recorded a minor using the lavatory on the aircraft. And if you thought that was already crazy, over 50 images of a nine year old baby that was unoccupied were allegedly found in his iCloud as well. And allegedly he recorded her using the lavatory as well. Now the images that were found included photos taken while the minor was seated in her seat pre-flight as well as close-ups of her face while sleeping. And it is also mentioned that he may have taken a picture of her behind as she was exiting the aircraft. Now, all the minors that are involved in his case have been identified and their families have been contacted by law enforcement. As you guys saw in the intro, FBI went knocking into one of the victim's houses and 
showed them the evidence and asked, is this your daughter? And as if that wasn't already insane, allegedly there were hundreds of images of AI generated child corn, which were all found stored on his iCloud account. Now with these cases, you may be wondering, what did American Airlines say about Esther's? Well, American Airlines said she is to blame and she should have known that the camera was recording her, that the camera was there and she shouldn't have been using the bathroom because the seat was obviously broken. So American Airlines was blaming the nine-year-old girl for an adult's actions. Now, when I read this, I was fuming and I said to myself, if that nine-year-old should have known that she was being recorded, then American Airlines should have known that their employee was a pedo. Am I right or am I tripping? And if you think I'm tripping, something's wrong with you. Family of a girl from Austin who was nine years old at the time did not know she was recorded while using a toilet until FBI investigators came to their home, revealing graphic images of her, allegedly found on Thompson's iCloud account. Thompson and American Airlines are being sued by families of the 14 and 9-year-old, and American Airlines is under fire for its response to a lawsuit. And one of their defenses was to blame the 9-year-old girl, and they said that she knew or should have known that she was being filmed. In my view, that is absolutely outrageous. It is sickening. Attorney Paul Llewellyn represents the two girls and their families. Now, once I stopped fuming, I was like, there is no way American Airlines did not respond. American Airlines said, our legal counsel retained with our insurance company made an error in this filing. The included defense is not representative of our airline and we have directed it be amended. We do not believe this child is at fault and we take the allegations involving a former team member very seriously. Now, I'm not sure how the courts work. However, I feel like the defense must have in some way, shape or form run his freaking script or whatever you call it with American Airlines before this happened, before they went to court. I may be wrong in that. Personally, I think this apology was pathetic and I wholeheartedly believe that the only reason they came out with this apology is because of the backlash they were getting from regular normal thinking people. Now back to Estes Carter Thompson. Thompson pled not guilty on Monday. He is charged with sexual exploitation of children and possession of child pornography. He remains in federal custody. He's scheduled to be due back in court on July 1st. That is the current updates we have on Estes Carter Thompson III. Let me know down below of what you guys think of this entire mess and I will see you guys on the next one.